Hey everyone, and welcome back. So last time, unlike all the other times, I actually went pretty well. We won for once. I didn't explode into a terrible, terrible pile of dead people. It was a little rough there in the middle, but we did eventually pull it out and explode the flagship, so pretty good. Uh, I've given the ships a look over, and I believe today we are gonna go slugging. I'm gonna do the slug pleasure barge. If we actually do this one, because I wanna do more TRC ships, I need to unlock them first, and I have not actually played this ship at all. So if we win with the slug pleasure barge, we're gonna get slot B, right? Slot C. Uh, one step closer to this one, maybe? Uh, at the very least, we'll also get this one. I feel like there's one other ship somewhere that we also get from uh, doing the Slug Pleasure Barge. I don't remember what that ship was. We discussed it on stream at one point that it, it did, in fact, unlock two different ships. But I can't for the life of me remember <laughs> what that other ship was. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Look, all we need to do, we just need to win. It's, uh, it's gonna be a little complicated. No guns. And, uh, two crew. Not the best. But, we do have some very suspicious gel. And, of course, the pleasure pods. Can't forget the pleasure pods. Ple 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 pods? I can't say that. Can't forget the pods. The bee pods. They have R&B music 24-7 and allow us to clone, or I guess make new slugs. So, um... How many crew? Nine? That's a weird amount. But we'll we'll deal with nine. See, so proceed with your mission. Exit. We do have to reset. I'm I one day will get chaos. I swear to you, I will get chaos. I'm just gonna we're gonna keep resetting. Because we know we can't do chaos if there's uh stinky orange juice up there. Give me that hat. Click the beacon. And I'm gonna go ahead and use an augment. I know we could salvage. Yes, we could. Uh, but experience the miracle of life. We're two milliseconds of this run. I think it's a good time to <laughs> good time to do this. We have a Pomeron. Welcome aboard Pomeron. Everyone has to go into the, the fight arena. We also have a butler bot and hard light bypass so we can go through super shields. Should probably go ahead and internalize that now. I don't think there's a real reason not to. I could sell it, but considering we have no other ways to get through stuff, it's, we need to have it. It's not like drone speed or something dumb. Anyway, the butler bot, uh, let's see, it's a special purpose. Blast loud music, stunning hostiles for eight seconds. Slow does less damage. Okay, it's, uh, it's a support unit, if anything. We have a whole five of them, and it's currently set to anti-personnel, so... Probably won't be able to do too much of that. Uh, Kira, I only have two slots anyway. Sorry, Kira. I'm keeping the alimony today. I cannot afford to give you my zero dollars. My ten dollars. <sighs> you know what? I really should have done something aboard the ship. I'm so used to not having anything to do after the first jump that I just like no. Okay, at least uh, they're gonna give me a little softball here. This should be easy. Two crew plus a repair drone. Not that repair drone is going to do anything. And Leviticus over here takes 10% more combat damage. So easy peasy. We need to get all these dum dums to like really strong punch. I don't know if you can. You can make the uh, the miracle of life with two elite crew. If I can, I need to <laughs> I need to get some elite crew. I wonder if it works for unique crew. Do you think I could do the miracle of life if I had like two salt guys? We could do some big damage with uh, an entire ship of saltmen. Granted, I don't think you can get two saltmen, not unless you do Nexus plus uh, get the regular saltman. So I'm pretty sure you get one salt man from the Nexus. I think you can. There is a, oh, there's a quest that we need to do and find. It will also take all that fuel. Thank you. We need to find the quest where we find Saltman's long lost relatives or whatever with knights. 
Uh, synthesize a cure. Hooray. $9. I'll take it. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, well, look at that. We need to work on A, getting more crew because three is not enough. And B, defense. If half of our crew are, uh, I don't know, on the enemy ship, <laughs> I can't really fix much on our ship. So we need to get over there and punch quickly. Hopefully uh, this doesn't line up. It's probably going to line up. It lined up. That's fine. We didn't need the teleport to come back or anything. Shoot him. Shoot him dead. Could be worse. It could have hit my shields and he could have just been laying into me this whole time. 20 bucks. Store opens and it offers to trade. We could just start uh, making <laughs> inches. Just start smashing two spaceships together. I don't think we're going to do that. Proved armories. This, it, it could be useful. Improved armories could be useful. It's only useful when it's not like, right? It's, it doesn't work in melee range. So it's only when people are walking in slash when it's not, when they run out of crew. If they're already out of crew, it doesn't really matter. So this really just means you get an extra, probably four damage. Like let's say these guys get two shots off before they go into melee range. Yeah, it's only 30% on top of what our lasers are shooting, and their lasers do about six, so like an extra <laughs> one damage. So like two or three damage total. It's probably not worth it. Definitely not worth all my money that I have right now. I really can't sell that right now either. And the suspicious gel, which is just slug repair gel. Um. Oh, rides a cheaper option to repair it. Empty. Oh, that's yeah, that's just slug repair gel. Yeah, never mind. That's regular. I was thinking about gun. Say we buy gun, if anything, just because it's only one power. I can use one power to maybe get something accomplished. Ideally, I find a second gun that kind of pairs with this so I can take down shields. This would have been useful if I didn't have the Zoltan Shield Bypass. But obviously I do, so it doesn't really matter. Speed flooring would be nice to get my guys in combat position sooner. Uh, salvage this drone, of course. You know what? I probably should have done that because it's a drone. If it went haywire, I wouldn't really have a way to kill it. But on the other hand, uh, never punished. Thundershock drone. A amazing drone, by the way. It's slow, yes, but gives you infinite bombs. Can I turn online? No. <laughs> no, I cannot. But if it randomly hits shields, I could kill something. Also, 22 free dollars. Is it worth it? To sh no. Okay, okay. Here's my here's my thought process. My, if I salvage, right? Salvage is never going to be more than worth a crew. I mean, I guess I could randomly get a gun. That'd be pretty good. But most salvage is like less than 20 scrap of value. But a slug. A slug's like always 55 to 60 scrap. So, and once obviously, once I'm full up. But we're in Sector 1. So it doesn't even matter. Sector 1 uh, salvage is going to be trash. Hopefully we get lucky and nothing. It's nothing. Wonderful. Okay, so we're gonna be boarded, but we're then gonna send over four slugs, which yeah, we are gonna get punched in the face real bad by whatever weapons he has, but we should be able to do enough damage to the two guys he has on board to kill them and then turn off his guns. Also, Shields wouldn't have mattered. That's great. Board me. You know what? Uh, yeah, no, let's uh, let's just punch him now. <laughs> I was going to say, we'll have these two duke it out, but no, this works too. Okay, he's dead. Then we come in here and we start breaking this room. 
And then you guys want to do a little flip flop swap. Oh, never mind, never mind. So I say because that guy, top left guy, was injured. Are we gonna eat missiles? Yes. It's fine though. Might still do a little flip flop swap with that guy. I think we've got it covered though. My weapons are offline. Light burst. It's great. Uh, do something aboard the ship? Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, more more slugs? More slugs? I think more slugs. Real shame about this being only a two person med bay as opposed to. or three person as opposed to four person. Okay, we need copious amounts of money to get that online. And we probably should focus on that first on the off chance we run into drones. Or I need to turn med bay off or something. Do you have enough money to do that? So I think it's uh, definitely worth. Oh, he's oh uh, let's go help back. <laughs> I uh, it bro, it's still broken. Actually, here's the question: If I leave this room, I have no idea how come sometimes it stays, sometimes it doesn't. I should test that with the a TRC ship and see if it's that that's causing me the issues. Also, your combat man, yeah, let's see, who had the repairs? Unfortunately, it was these, nah. Eh, yeah, you, it's, it's fine. These will be our combat men. That's the, <laughs> yeah, let's just do, uh, no, combat guys, no, the combat guys should definitely be at the top. That way I can always see what their health is. So, combat men are ready to go. Free Mantis or Liberated, and then, like, all of the Nebula. Thing is... I can't really do Mantis. I could maybe do Mantis. I just don't trust... They don't have a lot of big rooms, so it's gonna be 2 on 2, and 2 on 2 is not gonna end well. Uh, this is a perfect time to breed two slugs. <laughs> Look on the board! Forge George immediately? I have nothing for you, my good uh, Georgie. I need to be there in five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have like all the time in the world. Let's see if we can get some stuff to sell. I explore the asteroid field. Free money. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, now yeah, we got time. Issue is that Link. It could also be... Also, this is a uh, drone, right? Yep, drone. Good thing I have this gun. And then also this... Uh, wait, this gun. Oh, yeah, heavy laser. Sneaky lad. Let's do... Uh... No, it does not do regular damage. All right, auto fire. We just need to shoot it fast before it runs or cloaks or does whatever evil ships do. Run, light laser. You two should just go try and put that out. Okay, he's dead. I'm gonna get like a whole three dollars out of this. Three fuel, nine dollars. <laughs> Close. Anyway, but the link is going to have either NG. Link dude or Mantis. Mantis is an issue. Link dude is an issue. Energy should be easy to punch to death. They're not too spooky. But we have to be ready for the inevitability of it's the <laughs> it's a two-thirds chance of something rough. One, two, three. So here's hoping that we don't do this. Secure the cache. Always secure the cache. I wonder if I should trade out the butler bot for the other bot. Trader on deck, uh, offer up demands in exchange for a bounty. It was a trap the whole time. Oh, good luck with that, Mantis. I have... I don't even have a way to really kill you. Not a great way. What's your ion? He has a ton of ion. Can't just shoot him a whole bunch. I think what we do 
Guns are gonna help, actually. Guns won't help me, right? I mean, we can kill them, obviously, but guns won't really help. We're gonna set uh, butler bot mode. Set the butler to boarding mode. Send him in. This is gonna be weird, but just uh, just work with me here. You're gonna come in here and help fight that guy. We are going to board into Rome's. And Medbot too. Butler bot, go and destroy shields. Let's go pull one guy off. Do not hurt my my precious lad. And we're just gonna work on destroying everything on this ship. So that I'll get rid of the drones. Need to work on weapons. There's no reason not to go start weapons right now. Uh, you two are gonna go do med bay. When do you stun? Did you get around to the stunning part of uh, this ordeal? That was weird, right? What, what was that noise? <laughs> Uh, was that him? That might have been him stunning. I think that was him stunning. It was so loud. A little too med bay. It's rough. We're gonna outspeed the med bay. Eh, probably, maybe. Might actually outspeed the med bay. Well, we're definitely not now that there's two guys in there. So we're gonna pull out of the med bay. They're gonna stick there and fix it. We're gonna go start breaking their O2. You're gonna go to our med bay. We're gonna turn that on. We're not taking any more damage. He also has level 202. You guys are gonna pull out. You guys are gonna pull out. And then we're all getting out of there. Bringing all the boys home. He's gonna go try and fix that breach. That guy's gonna fix weapons. They'll probably die of asphyxiation. You should go back in here. You're in here. Uh, Jimmy the fourth, head this way. Anyway, they should. I'm trying to think if they're gonna head to the med bay. There's there's a chance they run to the med bay. That guy's gonna run to the med bay. We don't have it. I might just send a butler bot at it. They have a little two med bay, which is the annoying part. Let's see. This is 30 hull percent. Let, let's try and breach their med bay. If we breach their med bay, they won't stand in it. So I need to breach their med bay before their O2 is gone. Let's do a little bit of this. That's definitely breaching the med bay. He's gonna stand in the med bay. Hmm. I think there's a way to get over there and not risk. I don't want to lose the four guys. I mean, I could clone them back easy, right? I guess uh, duplicate them, kind of. But I don't want. I want him to be standing in the med bay. Okay, so he's out of the med bay. I'm surprised he went for the med bay fix over, like, weapons? Very odd. We'll go ahead and do this and get a little training in on, uh, classic, classic engines. And just, he actually fixed O2. Alright, well, we're gonna have to board and punch some dudes. This is simply just not allowed. See, no, that's... He just fixed the O2. <laughs> Why is there no O2 in this room? He just fixed it. Okay, yeah, we're gonna... We don't want to fight you. We want to distract you. Yeah, we want to distract you until the med base is destroyed. And then we want to fight you to the death. Yeah, there we go. All right, everyone come in here and fight to the death. He's gonna fix O2. And by that, I mean he's gonna come in here and get punched. And then we'll be set. It's a little, uh, a little weird. We got a Pomeroy. I'm not sure if we want a Pomeroy. We're now weak to board, or not boarding, but mind control. 
There's a chance Jimmy gets mind control. So congratulations, Jimmy. You're doors. How long you'll last? Uh, eh, probably not too long. Oh, those guys got swapped. <laughs> All right, thirty-six dollars. Forge George, I do have eh, something I can sell you. Let's see, you got sixteen dollars. You got anything interesting? You got a purse too. Again, expensive. Let's see, they're both worth the same. Question is, do I even want this one? It does stun enemies every eight seconds. It does less damage. This has more health, more damage. I'm not sure how much stunning is going to help. It might help. You could get some weird situations where a stun would help. But I have no idea of when stuns are going to happen. At the very least, I don't have to make a decision right now. Probably should. It wouldn't be the worst idea to get a burst full or burst two. Something that you turn off systems is not entirely out of place right now. But I could. Hmm. Actually, no. My, my thought process, also that's way less money than I thought I'd have. That, uh, yep, didn't do the math. Might sell the battle bot too. I guess I could use this. It's a lot of money for something that kind of sucks. I'm getting a bronze flak. I, I'm just thinking if I come across a drone, I need to turn off systems somehow. And throwing uh, slugs to the wind is not going to work. Burst 2 is obviously the strongest option here. It's slow comparatively. But I think it's probably worth it. I could always find more battle bots are everywhere. I already have 18,000 crew. It's an expensive purchase. Yes. But this, uh, even just one of these is like a terrible volley to go against. One, there we should do, yeah, one, two, three, and then see what we find. We have to plan for the inevitable. Uh, refuse. See, they have a clone bay, they have like 18 doors. They have a guy who's gonna light me on fire if I get near them. Feels like a good idea that I have, uh, a nonsense. All right, boys. Get in there and show them what for. Also, boys, get over there and show them what for. Should be fairly fine. These two guys are weak. His one strong guy oh, is over here at the moment. That's not great. Also, I have light burst online and not burst to second issue. That's only going to do one damage, right? That's one damage. Yeah, it does one damage. Okay, I don't care. <laughs> I can live with one damage. I do need to upgrade my defense at some point. I, I thankfully have not found very many people that are strong. But that won't last forever. That burst, yep, yeah, that takes that offline. And then he's already dead. All right, $20. Pretty nice. Go fix, go heal. You're at full health already. This is breached. I don't really care. Okay, you're fine. You need health. You guys are fine. You both need health. And we need to we need to upgrade defense. Defense is I'm just thinking that offense is a better defense. <laughs> because I, I I think I'm I'm forever scarred by the fact that you can go to Link and find the triple rocket launcher. Like, yeah, no defense is really gonna save you against that. I need a lot of offense to not die. Which is why I'm contemplating upgrading drone patrol so I can get my drone online instead. It's a Zoltan auto ship. It's a very good thing I read that. I was 100% about to board it. 
until I read Auto Ship. It's like, oh, wait a second. Maybe, uh, maybe I shouldn't board this thing. I should turn this on, though. Unless I, I could get respirators, maybe. That's an option on how to get out of this, uh, nightmare. Because I can't, if I had bombs, it would help. Okay, he's just, he'll, he'll, he'll fix himself. Unfortunately, that's not sentient. Can't really do much about that. I also foresee him running because they always run. So, Jimmy, you keep training. Good job on the old bullets, right? You're the only person training. Yep, you're the only person training. Let's get rid of piloting. You're insane again. I really don't have a recourse against that. This is on fire. I can at least kind of fix that. I should outpace your destruction in that room. Yep. Totally fine. Nine dollars. Good. <laughs> That's awful. That's very bad, huh? All right, let's go ahead and we're gonna grab two bars of power. I know it's not enough to get Thunder, the Thunderbird online, but hopefully it's good enough. This is still a pretty good loadout. Oh God. Well, see, this is why you always just, hey, look, he's got the giant missile launcher of death. <laughs> and he shoots, oh, well. All right, $15. Let's uh, do some last minute checkups. And I, for some reason, feel like I need that. Okay, we have to get through those Zoltan Super Shields fast. You dum dums. You boys, right? We can't sabotage, right? There's like no way we could get over there and sabotage in time. Breach Silent. Shield recharges faster. No, two. It'd be a one-way trip for whoever I send over there. On the other hand, that might be something that has to happen. I can make I can make as many clones as I want. I might have to do a little bit of farewell speech to these poor lads. Okay, you guys up here. R to you, Pomeroy. Sorry, boys. For the the good of the nation, I think you have to get over there. We're we're eating one of these missiles already. Yep. Yeah. No. Uh, for the good of the nation, you must board. Ah, wait. No. Do not board. Do not board. I'm sorry, Pomeroy. You have to stay, because. Wait. Never mind. Never mind. Pomeroy, go over there. This mind control's not on yet. You dum dums, break this room. You guys come help fix. Now, maybe we'll get lucky. Uh, are you just gonna die too? No, you'll live. Barely, but you'll live. Really barely. Oh man, it's real barely, huh? How much extra power you got over there? They're locked in that room, so this is a, a death charge regardless. Your sacrifice will be noted. Goodbye. You have saved this run. Sometimes you gotta make the, the hard choices if you wanna get anything accomplished. And we made the hard choices. He doesn't have cloak, which is really nice. He's also very evasive. I am very, very adamant on that decision to do that. Shame about the lads though. We get, we actually have a chance at getting to Secret Sector and getting something accomplished. Just, just destroy shields entirely. I, he's gonna turn my shields off, but thankfully he doesn't even have a gun that matters, so. A heavy price, but a cube has been found. And that actually, once we get him, not that it really matters. I guess because we can't do that until like really far off. It's also in the next sector. Be here in four, one, two, three, four. Perfect. But uh, that lets have ten crew as opposed to nine, which I suppose is nice. 
Let's turn this on. 